Easy Music Theory, Part 6, The Minor Scale. All right, we've talked about the major scale. We've talked about the chords used within a major key. We've talked about how to build those chords. But sometimes you just need a little sadness in your life. Uh, that's where the minor scale comes into play. So here we go. Scales in general. Like I've said before, uh, the granddaddy of all scales is the major scale. And you might know that as do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Uh, the major scale has a recipe, a formula, and that is root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That's how we figure out the major scale. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go back and watch an earlier lesson where I explain all this stuff in depth. So if the major scale is the granddaddy of all the scales, then I'm going to say the grandmommy is the minor scale. And there is a slightly different formula to follow. It is root, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Now you're thinking to yourself, great, another formula I need to memorize. Well, yes, but maybe not necessarily. Hopefully the next few minutes will uh, show you what I mean. Here is the beloved keyboard, and let's pick a minor scale to figure out. How about A minor, A? What is the A minor scale? Well, let's get going. Here is the minor scale formula, root whole half, whole whole half, whole whole. Let's start figuring out the notes. The root is shockingly A. Who would have thunk it? Whole step from A is B. Half step from there is a C. Whole step is D, whole step is E. Half step from there is F, whole is G, and whole obviously brings us back to the root A. Fantastic. Why did I pick A minor as the first minor scale to show you? Because there are no black keys in the key of A minor. It's the easiest minor scale to know. Start with A and it's all the white keys. Um, here are the intervals of the minor scale. We just number the notes as they, appear, as they appear in the scale. Now, just like in the major scale, uh, if we want to play chords instead of the individual notes, some of the chords are major, some are minor, there's a diminished in there, but they're a little mixed up from the major scale. In the minor key, three, six, and seven are now the major chords. One, four, five are the minor chords. Two is now the diminished. In the major key, in A major key, um, seven is the diminished. But in the minor key, two is the diminished. All right, so let's uh, figure out the chords. And again, you're thinking, oh, I don't, I'm gonna, how am I going to remember all this stuff? Maybe the next few minutes will enlighten you. Stay with me. So the chords we would use within the A minor key the first one, shockingly, would be minor. I mean, the root has to be a minor chord of a minor key. That just sort of makes sense. So the one is minor. Uh, the two is diminished, like I just said. Three is a major chord. Four is a minor chord. Five is a minor chord. Six, which in this case is the F, is a major chord. The seven is a major chord. And the one, again, brings us back to the root, which, of course, is a minor chord. And just like in the major scale, in a major key, we use the Roman numerals to refer to the chords, uppercase for major chords, lowercase for minor chords, and the circle thing for the diminished. So uh, here uh, would be the chords written down. The one is lowercase because it's minor. Two would get the little circle thing. It's diminished. Three is uppercase. Four is lowercase. Five is lowercase because it's minor. F is uppercase because it's major. G is upper, and A minor, again, is lowercase. So looking at the A minor scale, no black keys in the key of A minor, um, all the white keys, what does that remind you of? Oh, it reminds you of the C major scale. There are no black keys in the key of C major. There are no black keys in the key of A minor. So they share the same notes. All right, let's dive in a little deeper here. Because A minor shares the same notes as C major, we call A minor the relative minor of C major. They share the same notes. Conversely, we call C major the relative major of A minor because they share the same notes. C major, all happy. All right, 
going to blow your mind with this next step. You ready? Here is uh, the C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And of course, the formula, root, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That is C major. I'm just going to uh, repeat the C major scale. So I'm going to end up doing it twice. Uh, so basically, we have two octaves of the C major scale. With me so far? Awesome. All right. Um, now, looking at this C major scale, the A minor scale is right in the middle of it. It's from here to here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Huh. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those notes and I'm going to all the steps above those notes. I'm just going to copy those down and look where we're at. So if A is now the root, well, B is a whole step from A, C is a half step, D is a whole step away. I mean, I'm just copying the steps from the major scale down. And look, root, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Well, by golly, that is the minor scale formula. So if I give you the intervals of the major scale, if I just number the notes as they appear in the major scale, you can see that if we start at the sixth interval of the major scale and just keep going, that is what the minor scale consists of. So if we use the interval six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six of the major scale, that's the minor scale, root, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. The relative minor will always be the sixth interval of a major scale. Let's go one step further. Here is two octaves of the C major scale again. And let's write down those Roman numerals that we all know and love referring to the chords. Uh, in the major scale, in a major key, one is major, two and three are minor, four and five are major, um, six is minor, seven is diminished, and it repeats. Now, the minor scale chords we just figured out are right here. Minor, diminished, major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Now, if you look, Again, the major chords and the minor chords line up between the two keys. You see that? The intervals have changed. In the major scale, A is the six. In the A minor scale, A is the one. It's the root. But whether the chord is major or minor stays the same. A is a minor chord in both keys. B is a diminished chord in both keys. C is major, D is minor, E is minor, F is major, G is major, A again is minor. So if you know the major scale, and if you know um, what chords are major and minor within a major key, then you can just extrapolate the minor key from that. Just start at the sixth interval, and everything's the same. I'll show you another example. Uh, how about, let's figure out the E minor scale. We'll do this one a little quicker. All right, minor scale formula, root whole half, whole, whole half, whole, whole. E minor scale, the root is obviously E. Yep, I know you know that. Whole step from there, two keys, two notes, is F sharp. Half step from there is G, whole is A, whole is B, half is C, whole is D, and the whole step brings us back to the root, E. Uh, there is one black key in the key of E minor. We have substituted F sharp for F. Here are the intervals. Let's do the chords again. Well, we know one is a minor, two is a diminished, three is major, four is minor, five is minor, six is major, seven is major, and one is minor. Now we will give the Roman numerals again. Lowercase, circle thingy, uppercase, lowercase, lower, upper, upper, lower. So there is the E minor scale, one black key in the key of E minor. What does that remind you of? Oh my God, it reminds you of the G major scale with one black key in the key of G major. So again, they share the same notes. E minor is the relative minor of G major. They share the same notes. So if we know the G major scale, how do we know what the relative minor is? Well, let's count to the sixth interval. G, A, B, C, D, E. E 
is the relative minor of G major. So if we start at the E and just continue up, that is the minor scale. All right, that is one heck of a lesson. I hope you stuck with it. I uh, hope it makes sense. If not, shoot, rewatch it. It's free. Um, go ahead and like it, subscribe, share, you know the routine. Anyway, thanks for watching.